Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a new day. It's uh, Thursday morning, right around 11 o'clock. And uh, I went to the morning food pantry this morning. And so I'm just gonna show you that haul right away. Uh, today I wanna show you the haul. I wanna record the hauls right away so I don't wait like three days. And so we'll go over that in a minute. I'm, I just got it laid out in a table in the garage since we're outside. It's a beautiful, mild day. 73 for a high. No humidity, no dew point, high dew point. Uh, it is perfect. Uh, it's a little breezy, but that's okay. When you're out in the sun, it feels good. So, yeah, couldn't ask for a more perfect day. <laughs> Glenn says, sure you could. No wind. He wants no wind for flying. <laughs> so, um... So what I'm going to do is show you the pantry haul and then I'm going to go in and fix us something to eat for lunch and I'm going to use the new rice cooker, well new to me, and uh, we're going to cook some rice in that and I'm going to thaw out some ground beef and we're just going to do a mixture of rice and ground beef and uh, that'll be our lunch and then for tonight we're going to do beer brats and uh, restaurant steaks. So beer brats and hamburgers, basically. Um, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. And so let's go to the food pantry hall. All right, everyone. So here is our food pantry hall for the morning of Thursday. So uh, I'll be going to the afternoon one a little later on. But we got some Rice Krispies. Now, these are not the frosted ones. They're just the regular ones, but that's okay. Uh, good for making some uh, Rice Krispie treats. And then got two more packs of those fruit snacks. Uh, Glenn eats those a lot, so got that. And this bag has no label as to what it is, so nobody picks it up. So me and Leah there, uh, Leah went ahead and she said, let's open it to see what it is. And they're Triscuits, I think what they're called, the Cracker Triscuits. So I just said, I'll take them. And uh, so we just taped them closed and Glenn's going to have them in the trailer for a snack at night when he gets the urge to snack on something. So I'll just leave those for him. Got a can of refried beans, can of golden sweet corn, chicken broth, a can of olives, can of beef broth. A uh, small can of Frank's uh, sauerkraut, and those small cans of kraut are good uh, for when Glenn eats like a hot dog or a brat. He can put some sauerkraut on it without opening a big can. Uh, got another can of corn. Got those two 10-ounce uh, packs of ground beef. So one of them I'm going to thaw out right now or defrost and use it for the rice and ground beef. Got a container of coffee creamer and a jar of pasta sauce. So that's our morning food pantry haul. And again, things I chose for us and things we're going to use. So, all right, so let's, uh, let's go in the kitchen and use this rice cooker. All right, everyone, so we're gonna cook up some rice now. So it looks like this was brand new. It was all packaged as if it was new. And on the cord, it still had the seal on there. So, wow. But thank you again, Sharon, for this wonderful gift. So, it comes with the nonstick pot. Obviously, the cooker itself comes with a spoon. Um, got a one-cup measuring cup. And obviously, the lid with tempered glass and a steam hole. So... I'm going to go according to direction and see how it goes. So this is a one cup and I normally make a one cup for both of us. So I'm going to put it in there. And then it says for a one cup, do one and a half cups of water.
Now I'm going to cover it and plug it in. Alright, I'll show you the front of it. Okay, so once you plug it in, it automatically starts, so there's no on and off. And I don't know if you could tell, but the warm button, let me see if I turn off the flash, there you go. The warm button is on, and then when the red button goes on, that means it's cooking. So when it's done cooking, it should go to warm. Okay, so I want to correct myself. Um, there is a switch here, so when I plugged it in, it was on warm, but you have to press this switch down, and it starts to cook automatically. So, so now once it's done cooking, then it should go to warm. So I just want to correct that. Still easy enough. All right, everyone, so the rice is done cooking. So it took 18 minutes for it to automatically switch from cooked to warm. So it says uh, let sit for 15 minutes after it turns to warm just to continue steaming the rice. So I'm doing that. Meanwhile, I'm going to go ahead and cook my ground beef. And this is a food pantry meal. Uh, the, we got this ground beef from the food pantry this morning. Oh, I don't know why I'm not just using my uh, my other ground beef thing. All right. So yeah, that rice cooker is pretty simple. Now, I haven't used a rice cooker in many years. It was probably the 1990s when I used one last. Um, I normally just make it on the, in a saucepan, but this is much nicer. <laughs> so all I'm going to do is cook up the ground beef, mix the rice into it, and call it lunch. Pretty simple, but tasty. Uh, Glenn will use picante sauce on his. I'll use soy sauce on mine. And then a little bit later on, I'll be going to the afternoon pantry. So we had a, a guy, a contractor, come to the house at 10 o'clock this morning. Um, he measured the length and width of the living room and hallway which is where they are going to replace uh, all these home repairs they're gonna put new carpeting in so so we've had a contractor come to basically estimate the roof and now the carpet and they took measurements on the stove as well um, I asked them if they could just look at the stove um, they said they're just gonna replace it so <laughs> So that's awesome. So feeling so blessed by all of this. Oh, it's such a beautiful day outside. Perfect weather. And I think I mentioned we're just going to do beer brats and burgers tonight and you know why I suggested that because it's easy enough I could just I'll just grill them out throw them in the beer and onions and that'll leave me free to do some crafting today because I feel like crafting all right I'm just gonna turn that down So my rice is almost ready um, to mix in here, so I will be back. All right, everyone. So it's been about 15 minutes now. So what I'm going to do with the rice cooker is just unplug it. There's no on and off switch. So, whew. let's just uh, stir that up a little bit. They've got handles so you can hold, um, so you don't burn yourself by grabbing the plate. 
All right, we're actually just going to throw it in here. Normally I would put like bell peppers, cut up bell peppers, uh, but I think I'm just going to, we're just going to do this. Nice simple lunch. I'm going to grab something so I could grab a hold of this pot. Don't want to burn myself. No, that way I can just get all this in there right away. <laughs> Should have just did that from the beginning. All right. And this is a non-stick pot. So after lunch, I'm going to come back and uh, clean my mess up here. It's pretty strong spoon. It looks like it would just bend, but it's actually pretty strong. So, loving that. Alright, let me turn my burner up here. I'm going to put the rice cooker to the side. And let's cook this up. I already seasoned the meat. I don't think I recorded it. You know, we were, uh, after I got home from the pantry this morning, uh, we were sitting by the back door of the garage, me, Gypsy, and Glenn. And we're just watching, you know, watching and listening to the birds. And I was just thinking to myself how grateful I am just to have that. You know, even if we don't go anywhere, just to be able to sit back there on a beautiful day and listen to listen to the birds and watch them and chippy and so very grateful for what we have. And then a big hawk came. And the Blue Jays were squawking like crazy, letting, uh, just kind of giving the heads up to everybody else in the yard that a predator is amongst them. But I think they already knew that because they all disappeared. <laughs> and then the crows banded in a group of four or five and literally chased the hawk in the sky. The the hawk perched in a tree, and then the crows chased him out and chased him in the sky. That was, it was such an amazing, it's so amazing to just watch nature happen, you know. And, uh, and then the hawk went away, and then he came back and perched in a nearby tree again. And then the blue jays followed the hawk into that tree. There was like three or four blue jays all followed him into that tree. And then the hawk went on his way. Didn't didn't get any of our backyard friends. And I know it's just the circle of life that they got to eat too. They're beautiful. They got to eat too. It's just nature. But yeah, I was just thinking how amazing it feels just to be able to do that. All right, so this is pretty much done. I'm going to serve this up so we can eat. And then in about an hour or so, I'm going to head over to the next food pantry. All right, there is lunch using a new rice cooker. Thank you again, Sharon. Loving it. And uh, I'll be using that every time I make rice now. All right, so stay tuned. All right, everyone. So I'm home from the afternoon pantry and i'll have that haul for you i have some friend mail to share with you so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open this friend mail we're going to share that and then i'm going to go in the house record the pantry haul well i'm going to get some brats going in the water boiling and then while they're cooking i'll record the pantry haul 
and a grocery haul so that way they're done <laughs> all right so let's get to this friend mail all right everyone so we're going to go ahead and open up this box I've uh, scribbled out name and address of the person sending it. Glenn is using the table, that's why I'm on the chair. Now this person uh, would like to remain anonymous. Aww. Aww. So I'm not gonna mention her name, but thank you so much. And this, she always sends stuff for the fur babies as well. And Gypsy loves these uh, pepperonis. So she sent a bag of pepperonis for Gypsy and a couple of these squeeze-ups delectables for the kitties. So that was so nice. So nice of her. Thank you so much. Does Gypsy want a pepperoni? Gypsy's laying in the grass right now. We're going to give her a pepperoni quick. She understands what pepperoni means. <laughs> Chips, you want a pepperoni? <laughs> She's enjoying her pepperoni now. <laughs> Thank you so much for always thinking of our fur babies. So we got gypsy and kitty treats. So this person remembered Glenn's birthday and Glenn's birthday is next month and she remembered Glenn's birthday and she said a little something to get Glenn a steak for his birthday enjoy and she sent $25 to get Glenn a steak how sweet we use it all for six. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. I don't know if you heard, but Glenn just said thank you so much, and he appreciates it. Thank you. So kind. And to remember his birthday. <laughs> yeah, his birthday's in August. So, thank you. <laughs> Glenn said he don't even remember it. <laughs> thank you. Oh, my God. Oh, look. An egg peeler. Wow. How'd that work? Simple to use. Add a little water and oh, your you boiling egg. Snap on the cap. Shake it up and down and the shell comes off. Slides off. Look at that. That's kind of like what I was doing with the, in, in the small jalapeno jar. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. So now we got an egg peeler and an egg slicer. Woohoo. Oh, storage. Food storage. Oh, it's a butter bowl. Butter and cheese container. That's awesome. And I was just thinking about getting a butter butter bowl. A small one? No, it's a pretty good size one. Wow, that's nice. We've had that butter one before you came here. Yeah, the current one we have, it's like a hard plastic. It is cracked, though. Um, but Glenn's had that butter dish since before I even got here. And I've been here, what, 21 years or so? 30, 30 years old. Yeah. Wow, that's cool. That's awesome. Thank you so much. I love this. Wow. And a bag. Uh, ruffles, sweetened uh, sour cream and onion. Nice 
snacks. Woohoo! Oh, here's another dish. Two butter butter dishes. So I can use one for cheese and one for butter. Yes. Thank you. Two sticks of butter in there. Could probably, yeah, you could probably put two sticks of butter in there. It's big enough. And it's got like a top cover. That's awesome. I love this. Thank you. So yeah, one's going to be for butter and one's going to be for cheese. What is this? Ice cream scooper. <laughs> That's cool. So this is an ice cream scooper. Now, um, for some of you that have been with the channel for a while, if you remember back, this person also sent me those uh, scoopers that have that thing that swiped the cookie dough out of it. Uh, she sent me those. So this person has sent... Uh, has probably set up my kitchen. <laughs> so thank you so much for that. Oh, cutting boards. Yes. Look at this. Oh, a pear, paring knife. What is that? Look at this. Pack of three cutting boards. You see that, babe? Okay. Can you see that? And then there's that peeler right there. That's awesome. So there's a small one, medium, and a large one. Thank you so much. I love these. I was in need of a new uh, plastic-like cutting board uh, because somebody had mentioned cutting on glass is bad for the knife, the sharpness of the knife. So thank you for that comment. Uh, since then, I have not cut on those tempered glass cutting boards so um, I want to try to find a way to display them though because they're so beautiful uh, rather than them sitting in the cabinet so I wanted to get some more plastic cutting boards and it comes with the peeler I don't know if you could see that that's awesome Pairing knife. Pairing knife yeah uh peeler peeler paring knife whatever it says peeler so that's I love that. Thank you so much. All right. So that is our friend mail for today. Gypsy is looking like more pepperonis, please. <laughs> All right, everyone. So I'm going to put this stuff back and I'm going to take it in the house and I'm going to get started cooking the brats and getting some uh, video going and... Now, today's Thursday. I haven't uploaded a video since Tuesday, so I also have to edit and get one uploaded today because I didn't get one done yesterday. All right, so, all right, I'll be back. All right, everyone, so I'm in the house now, and I've got water boiling to cook up these brats, and I'm going to go ahead and cook uh, three packs at one time, so 15 brats, and we're going to grill out six hamburgers and I'm going to do the same thing as I did last time uh, for those of you that remember I put beer and onions in the hot logic I put them all in there and when we're done eating them tonight and tomorrow the remainder of them I'm going to freeze and that way they're already cooked and I freeze the onions and beer with them that way the beer gets used up as well as the onions and by doing it that way, we're not using up that much more charcoal cooking each pack individually. So uh, we're going to light up the grill and cook them all at once and use less charcoal that way. Because charcoal's not cheap either. So, <laughs> so yeah, it worked out really well last time when we did this. So yeah, they're frozen, but as long as I put them in the boiling water, they'll uh, thaw out and cook. And then I just need to brown them on the grill. All right, so I'm going to get that going, and then I'll uh, start recording the afternoon food pantry haul. All right, everyone, so I've got the brats going in the pot, uh, so that'll take about an hour to cook all 15 of those. And so while I'm doing that, 
I'll record the gross or the food pantry haul from the afternoon. And yes, that way I get them done right away. All right, so let's go over the produce first. I chose again some more red potatoes. Um, I have like three medium ones left from last time, and now I got five more. And so I'll be uh, making some more red potatoes. I also would like to make with the red potatoes like a sheet pan dinner almost or a cap in a casserole dish with like sausage and peppers and things like that so um so yeah just kind of a little bit of a different meal with those all right got two bell peppers so i need to wash those up and cut them up and freeze them and two more roma tomatoes so so yeah that gives us a pretty good stock on uh, tomatoes so we don't have to buy any and then over here, I chose a dozen of eggs for us. And then, uh, yeah, so in the morning I got cereal, in the afternoon I chose eggs. And then we got these two loaves of white bread, and they are not sliced. It's been a while since we got these, and they are soft. So since we already have a loaf of bread out, I'm going to go ahead and freeze these. And then I shouldn't have to buy bread until we're done with all of this. So... So got that, got a half gallon of milk, which I don't think I need it yet. So I'm gonna throw it in the freezer. For those of you that don't know, you can freeze milk just like that in the plastic jug. Uh, when you freeze it, it might turn like a yellowish color, but that's okay because that's what it looks like when it's frozen. And when it thaws out, it turns white back to the white color. And when you freeze it, it prolongs the expiration date as well. So, all right. So just for those of you that don't know, I freeze milk all the time and it tastes great when it thaws out. And then I also, for cheese, I chose American sliced cheese for cans, a can of pumpkin, tomato sauce, and golden corn. And then we got our weekly roll of toilet paper. And then this was like what they call a freebie. They consider something they give to everybody no matter what they choose. So normally like for breakfast stuff, if you choose cereal, you don't get eggs and bacon or sausage or whatever. If you choose eggs, you get bacon. But this time they're giving it to everybody even if they chose cereal. So that's nice of them. Um, so a pack of bacon. And then for our meats, I chose more ground beef. So we got two of those. And we got two in the morning one. So that's uh, 40 more ounces of ground beef. So that indeed helps us stretch our meals. And with the stuff we get in our grocery hauls and in the food pantry combined, uh, that gives us a good amount of meals. So, all right. So that is the afternoon food pantry haul. And lot. Lots of meals to come from it, so continuing on the Eat What You Have challenge. All right, everyone, so I'm cooking half of the brats at a time so I don't end up with a big flame. <laughs> but they're all cooked, um, and I'm just browning them just like they are right there. So uh, they're starting to look good and smell good. All right, everyone, so there are the brats in the Hot Logic uh, beer, and there's a little bit of butter with onions, and the hamburgers are on the bottom. So I haven't put everything, all of it in there yet. So as soon as uh, I just took Glenn some, and after I eat, I'll put a few more in there. So that is our Eat What You Have, day number seven. So, yeah. And it'll continue to day number eight because we'll have uh, some of this tomorrow as well. So, all right. That's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate all of you and the support you give my channel each and every day. And thank you for all the friend mail. Um, yeah, we are beyond blessed, I, I got to tell you. So, and... I don't think we deserve it, but we are blessed. So thank you so much and 
with that, remember to live life, be good to yourself, and be good to others. Until next time.